The GJ-11 Sharp Sword, developed by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, is believed to be eventually slated for induction. The drone is also considered a sign that the PLA Navy is aggressively pushing towards acquiring a carrier-capable UCAV capability. Made by a Chinese company called AVIC, the GJ-11 is reported by the Global Times as having two weapons bays between the drone's landing gear. Each bay has four bomb locations which appear like guided precision air-to-ground bombs. An armed unmanned platform which first emerged at a Chinese parade in 2019 as a weapon possibly intended to rival or exceed the US stealthy RQ-170 Sentinel drone or armed reaper. The new Chinese GJ-11 might bring a rare blend of attributes not likely to be matched by other countries. Many countries naturally have armed stealth fighters, yet it is clear to say that armed stealth drones have not fully emerged. China is sending out a message that the GJ-11 Sharp Sword will play a major role in future naval wars possibly in the Western Pacific and off Taiwan's eastern seaboard. The GJ-11 has been hyped as the J-20's loyal wingman drone and is also slated to fly from the latest Type 004 Fukien carrier. That is the strongest indication that the UCAV will play a significant role in China's naval warfare. An early photo from 2013 showed a significantly different and larger top air intake and a regular conical exhaust nozzle. Subsequent photos of a scale model in September 2021 during an airshow in China showed its two internal belly weapons bays open between two side landing gears. Each bay has four ammunitions, which look like guided precision air-to-ground glide bombs. Experts said that the drone would likely carry multiple types of precision ammunition, including larger ones that were not displayed at the airshow. It further quoted military aviation expert Zhang Zufeng saying that the flying wing-shaped drone had high stealth and subsonic cruise capability, coupled with extended range. Narrators on China Central Television during the parade said that the GJ-11's primary mission would be to conduct deep penetrating strikes on critical targets. The GJ in the designation also meaning Gonji Chinese for attack, is an additional indication that the primary role of the UCAV is strike-oriented. Another grab from a computer-illustrated concept of the GJ-11 doing the rounds on social media showed a bottom view of it releasing what appears to be a glide bomb from one of its underbelly internal weapons bays. It can be assumed that the drone might have a limited intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance capability. This is because targeting information generation and data linking has been envisaged for all airborne assets as a part of China's intelligentized warfare concept. Another People's Liberation Army expert called this a near confirmation that a flying wing UCAV is intended for carrier aviation, adding that the GJ-11 is likely already being tested. A video of a UAV flying overhead that surfaced in October 2022 was claimed as the GJ-11. The UCAV is likely meant to operate from Chinese carriers with flat-top flight decks like the Type 004 Fukien. There has been no indication that it might operate from the Liaoning or the Shandong that have ski jumps. This is because the carrier on which the mock-up of the full-scale model was placed looks a lot like the Fukien. Besides, both the Shandong and Liaoning have short takeoff barrier arrested launch and recovery systems. Where aircraft have to take off on their power from the ski jumps, forcing them to carry a lighter payload. The Fukien, however, has an electromagnetic launch system that can launch heavier aircraft like the J-15, the KJ-600 airborne early warning aircraft and the GJ-11. Another possible role would be flying alongside the J-20 stealth fighter as a part of a manned-unmanned team. Screen grabs from an October 2022 digital representation on China Central Television showed J-20s and H-6K strategic bombers controlling wingmen drones. And the drones in the video were GJ-11s. PLA Navy would also first focus on mastering the complexity of carrier operations, something that it is doing for the first time and adversaries like India and the US have possessed for decades. Both the Shandong and the Fukien were rapidly built after progressively learning lessons in aircraft carrier construction from the Liaoning. Which also means there are improvements in naval aviation operations rather than warship construction. Moreover, a flying wingman drone has to be capable of performing autonomously in many routine operations, if not completely free of human control. Autonomous aircraft technology is incredibly complex, 
requiring sophisticated electronics, flight control algorithms, and software that countries are still refining. It can be said that China has planned to align the maturation of this homegrown technology with the operationalism of the Fukien, or perhaps a fifth speculated carrier. Even after successfully developing a workable technology, developing tactics, procedures, and maintenance processes with manned fighters and support crew would be the next stage. A naval GJ-11 would also need to have significantly different airframe durability. A powerful engine, and strong landing gear to withstand the punishing launch and recovery procedures in a demanding aircraft carrier environment. It must perform everything from providing enhanced surveillance, reconnaissance, and targeting data to its carrier-borne fighters like the J-15 via direct line-of-sight data links. Extending the range and scope of surveillance for PLA Navy's carrier battle groups is just one part. Other claims point out that the GJ-11 is also meant to be operated from the Type 075 amphibious landing helicopter docks a central Chinese asset for a military move on Taiwan. Put differently, the GJ-11 becoming a loyal wingman or a carrier-born new CAV is not a question of if, but when. A mystery aircraft model exposed by commercial satellites on a Chinese radar cross-section test range reveals new features of an advanced design which is shaped and sized similarly to the cranked kite configuration of the Northrop Grumman X-47B. The test model was found on a known Chinese site for testing the stealth characteristics of military aircraft such as Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon Fighter and GJ-11 Sharp Sword Uncrewed Aircraft System. A number of flying wing aircraft models have appeared in public exhibits by the Chinese Defense Industry and the People's Liberation Army Air Force. Many are never seen again after a brief display at an air show or convention, but some, like the GJ-11, proceed into full-scale development and production for military service. Observers believe the GJ-11 might eventually fly from Chinese aircraft carriers given how its mock-ups have been seen on full-sized carrier test facilities in unofficial photographs.